hit that play. Let me hit that pussy. Okay. We're going to cover our top tracks of 2018, top 20 tracks of 2018. 100. Be sure to put your top 20 below, top 10, top 5, top track, whatever you want. You can put your top 1,000 if you want. Yeah. We won't look at it though. Shit, no. Sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, top How do you classify a top track? Uh, so it's not singles. So a lot of people do top singles. So singles are obviously have to release a single. Top tracks are just tracks in general that have been put out this year that we fuck with. And we're just going to give our quick reasoning as to why we fuck with it, maybe a little bit about them, and go to the next one. Basically, these are the 20 tracks to us. We may not have listened to them the most, but they're the ones that we like the most. It's our personal lists that we fuck with. And if you don't understand why it's there, it's because we ain't you. Good one. All right. Let's go. Should we start off? Yes, Sam, keep going. 20. Kanye West, All Mine. All right. I think I had one of the best hooks of the year. I think that uh, Kanye West's verse on here was really fun, but also really smart. They had a lot of lot of smart lines on there though. Like, uh, my favorite track of VA, and it made it because I really listened to it the whole year through. Joji, slow dancing in the dark. Incredible. Beautiful track, Incredible. incredibly vulnerable. Music video to accompany it was, was oh. amazing. Um, I think this is probably Joji's best track he's ever made. Yeah, I can agree completely. And if he put a whole album out like that, bruh. Like, legit, incredible. Uh, 19, J.I.D. Off D's with J. Cole. Off D's? Bro. Shit, that's a, that's a Gangster Grills! <laughs> Zoom in on that shit. Oh my god, the back and forth with J. Cole and J.I.D. When J. Cole comes in, I'm just like, I died. And haven't stopped playing this song every day since. We had a rule though, we couldn't put two tracks by the same artist. The same artist. Features you can Okay, yeah, of course. So that's why that didn't make that. For Ooh. Me. Westbrook. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. 19, J. Cole, KOD. This is what you call the flip. Uh, probably one of the best hooks as well. It's so infectious. Great track. And also his verse. Now, then when the fuck I must now. Then but oh, bruh. Uh, 18, Kid C goes fourth dimension. I love the sample on here. 18, we really reacted that well, didn't we? Oh, man, the sample is heavenly to me. And Kanye West has one of his best verses in the last 10 years on here. Maybe not 10, five years. But like, it's just so refreshing to hear Kanye West, especially on this track in general on this album, just flow so freely. And Kid Cudi does his thing. I fucked with that track heavy. ASAP Rocky, I'm looking up the song so I can play it right now. ASAP Rocky, ASAP Forever. I think it's one of my most enjoyable tracks by Rocky on that album, Testing, yeah. and uh, I had to put it, pay respects for it. Yeah, it's a fucking amazing track. When I was that, 18? Yeah, we're on 18 now. Cool. Uh, 17, Saba with Busy Sirens. What? Is I'm, that... the, I'm the same. Your 17's that? 17. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead ass. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. After listening to Saba's album, uh, Care For Me So Much, it was so hard to pick a favorite. Like, yeah. Life, uh, Prom King, like he had so many good songs in there, but I thought this one was the one that showcased his creativity and storytelling near the best. And it had this duality, so you got oh. best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. 17 for me, so that's done, so go your next track. We both fucking loved it. <laughs> uh, Pusha T, 16, The Games We Play. Okay. Bruh. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. It's one of the best beats of the year. It's one of my favorite reactions of the year. Yeah. Legit. What, watching it back, I smile. Our, should we review ourselves? What's our best we got reaction? It. We got it. Bro. That's funny. I loved it. It's so good. Uh, we're on 16, right? That was yeah, 16. 16. Uh, 16 for me was the weekend. Call out my name. Call out my name. I'm glad you're here to remind me of the track. That's helpful. I love doing it. Um, Oh, shit, I didn't put that in. Fuck. <laughs> it's so hard, man. Absolutely. It, it's a powerful track and probably one of my favorites off the album. Mm. And one of my favorite weekend tracks of the last uh, few years. Oh, man. 15, I got Silver in the Queue with uh, 555. I, yeah. It would have been Do Not Question. I but, see you. But I see 555 probably has more of a symbolic meaning to me. Uh, a lot of the days where I was feeling a bit down, I needed an uplifting. It was probably my favorite uplifting track of the year. It's kind of just like the sun's coming up, everything gonna be fine. You're breathing, you got this, you got that. It was just one of those really feel-good tracks. And uh, I just really, it just really hits me in the good spots, you feel? 
Still in the queue, Getsy. So 15, uh, 555 is my number 15. Sure. And I'm going to play you guys the my number 15. It's by an artist called The Color Grey, which uh, oh. you know of. I still haven't checked out the album you sent me. And it's it's this track right here. Wait, should we play all of them? Well, if I can look it up in time, I will. <laughs> um, it's called Swerve and it's, I think, his best track, and I'd highly recommend you check this artist out. He can fucking sing, he can rap, and this is a very, very good track with very good production. I gotta check this shit out, because I really like the color gray. Four, uh, 14, No Name with Ace, featuring Smino and Sapa. Uh, really fucked with this album, best track on there in my opinion. Really feel good, really fun. Uh, the way that No Name's verse flows into Sabas, incredible. Incredible track. Going back to it, mate, all the time. Kamasi Washington, Street Fighter Mass. This is the one I listen to a lot. Yeah, th th this was the single we reviewed. I think it's gorgeous. It's so good. The, he, it's just showcasing why Kamasi is one of the best jazz musicians of our current uh, generation. generation. Um, not that I know many others. <laughs> but I think it still holds weight. It's a really good song. If you like jazz, check that shit. Check! Uh, 13, I got a colleague Kelly Ukis with After the Storm featuring wow. Tyler the Creator. Fuck me. Uh, incredible song. Just the, the production just speaks to me. Tyler's verse is great. The video, the colors are amazing. Uh, it's just a track that I, it came out really early in the year. I kept going back to it, back to it, back to it, and it was just my sort of zone out and just be happy song. That's a good combo for you. I love it. I love it. 13, Duckworth, Fall Back. Fall Back! I thought we were going to get an album by him by now. We didn't. We uh, don't review it though when it does. Th this Duckworth, if you haven't heard of him, one of the best unknown artists coming up. Not even, not even that unknown. Bro, have you noticed that he's getting a lot more views lately? You think so? Yeah. I think he's so creative with these music videos, it just stands out. I've been looking and like, his videos were normally getting around 20, 30,000 views. At the moment, his latest videos have been getting up to like 200,000. So he's, 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 he's popping up a little bit and he better because he deserves that shit. Uh, 12, Brockhampton with Fabric. Can't remember. Uh, it was really hard for me to choose a track here from Brockhampton because I fucked with a lot of this album. But uh, in the end I chose Fabric, which was the closing track. It was the one I listened to the most. It's the one I sort of resonated with the most. And it's, it's great. I love Brockhampton. 12, I went to this track when it released a fucking lot. Denzel Curry? Yeah. Cloud Cobain. Oh, bruh. Send me the hook, baby. That hook. Mm -mm -mm. Hey. Suicidal thoughts. Sorry, they're, they're cringing right now. <laughs> yeah. We are jungle. the track of massive injustice. We are jungle cringe beats for a reason. 100. Every time you think that we're cringy, that's because that's what we are, motherfuckers. Do you want to talk anymore? No. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Watsky, welcome to the family. Thank you. Also, Watsky's confirmed to be releasing an album in mid-January, I believe. So I would like to review that. We'll review that. It's less than an hour? If less than an hour, we will. Um, he's released a few singles this year. This was my favorite single from him. Uh, really dope video too. And he's one of my favorite artists at the moment. Because uh, if you remember, in, uh, X Infinity made my, I think it got like number six in 2016. Don't remember, but okay. Sure. But incredible song. Listen to it a lot. It's one of those tracks that when they come out, you just have it on repeat for hours. You don't even realize. Right. And it just comes a really good song. No shit. It's dope. 11. Greg Newman. Who's Greg Newman? Who is Greg Newman? Fucking, you best, better fucking know who Greg Newman is. Bring Greg. Type that name in. Avalanche or Forecast? It's Forecast. Forecast. Forecast is one of the best bangers of the fucking year. It's one of my most played songs on Spotify too. Mm -hmm. uh, it helped me push through a lot of training sessions. So this, this, this song is so good on so many levels. When that beat drops, Greg Newman's going to be an incredible artist, 100%. And Watch all the out. tracks that were reviewed by him, they're so different, man. And they're all good. You're gonna be crazy. Fuck my fucking phone, turn off because I didn't press the screen. Uh, we're up to 10 now. Yeah, top 10 now. 10, J. Cole, ATM. Oh, no shit. Uh, my favorite video of the year. Yeah. I love the video so much. Uh, the song, his, his flowing, the way they use this stuff to the, to the hook. Count it up, count it up, count it up, count it up. Count it! You can take it when you die, but you can't live without it. That's all I gotta say. 
That's number 10. Number 10, Childish Gambino, This Is America. He shocked the fucking, the music industry with this joint right here. His music video to accompany it really added a lot of weight and really gave a lot of appreciation and depth to this track right here. Bro, I'm looking forward to the next body of work. I got the strap. I got a carry in. I'm so Anyways, uh, number nine, I've got Tar the Crater with Opera. Fuck me, that was uh, 24 for me. That was one of the hardest tracks of the year. And, and he had, what I love about the song especially is the three verses, he has very different tone switches yeah. and slight, slight flow glitches. The and beat's I, fucking sick. If he released a seven track EP like this, like Kanye did, album of the year. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that track is fire. Number nine, Royce the Five Nine, Caterpillar. I think this shows why Royce is one of the most. Greatest word players? Wordsmith? Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, you saying it. You saying it. I'm going to talk fucking number nine. Eminem's verse? Yeah, just phenomenal. Just the combination, this track is amazing. We reacted really strongly to it too. Check it out. Uh, number eight, Duckworth, Soprano. I love fullback, but soprano, that's like, oh. I think because the, the the duality, like the Bro. And how hybrid track it was. And just what it represents too with the video as well, really showcase a lot more of like, who he is an artist, but also his competition. It's just a really incredibly well done track. And I just, I loved it to bits. I played it to shit. God damn Duckworth, blow the fuck up already. Number eight, Anderson Pack. This didn't make the album, Bubbling. So, oh, bro, how fun was this track? One of the yeah, doing the yeah, bubbling. One of the best songs you can dance to. One of the funnest tracks of the year. It's one of so the brightest, catchy. most colorful and catchy. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Damn, that was damn. Imagine if you got a whole album of bubbling from it. Oh, I was hoping for That's it. What That's what we want. You got uh, seven. I got Nas with everything. <laughs> incredible, incredible track. Like I said, Kanye West. The Dream, amazing combo, especially like with Nas. Like, it's just such an emotionally fueled track that you just yeah. can't help but sit there and you just, your brain just wanders and you just think to yourself, shit. Oh, am I even here? I'm breathing. I'm breathing? I'm breathing, bro. <laughs> um, I go back to this track a lot. It's, it's incredible. Number seven. Rosalia. Malamente. Oh, bro. Malamente. Yeah, yeah look, this, this track. It's great. Kind of put Rosalie on the map for us. It did. Both of us. Thank you very much. Review, and, uh, man. It's an amazing track. Incredible. I, oh. Malamente. This is one of the best Spanish artists oh. out. And just her voice, the way she raises her pitches to the highs and lows, man. Oh, God. I'm not even going to attempt to do it because I'm a shit. Now, actually, your wow. number seven was my number... Uh, sorry, wait, what? It's your turn. <laughs> well, I'm fucking trying to take turns. I can't believe that Saba was also going to say it's crazy. Uh, number six, Amine. Reel it in. I got the... Strap? Sauce? I'll do. Tell a friend, she gets the mask, bring it in. Bitch, I'm a new CNN. Whoa. It's such a fun track. I love it. I played to bits. It's, it's just such an amazing So your Amina is my Anderson Park. I feel like that's kind of our yeah. fun track. But that was on an album. Is that true? <laughs> oh yeah, but I get what you're saying. It's yeah, our yeah. fun track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your number seven was my number six. I got Nas everything, mm -hmm. right? I don't think much more needs to be said. No. This is powerful. I have everything. This is one of the best tracks on the album. Beautiful. I can have everything. It, it really hit us hard <laughs> in our fucking it soul. Hard. And it stayed like that the whole way through. We're up to the top five. Drum roll, please. Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> five, I've got Childish Gambino, This Is America. There you go. Uh, incredible track. And what it's showcased worldwide and everyone's different sort of, it was just that track of the year where everyone had their own ways of explaining what it meant. And Gambino even said, like, he was just like, everything you've said, just take it how you want. Like, this is how, like, this person said, like, he, like it was really just like, so many different ways that people took it was kind of how it was. It was just a really- you found meaning. Yeah, it was a really well done track. And I remember when we did it, we will find our own as well. Uh, definitely deserves to be there. I played, the, I played it a lot. I can't wait for an album for him. Number five, 
young fathers in my view. In my view, I know any more words. Just wow, what a fucking track, bro. How, how powerful this track was. How um, important and significant it was. You can just was. feel it just shift throughout your whole body when their vocals just hit. Really dope video too. Please do yourself a favor and watch this. You just have to mm. feel it. Mm. Incredible. Thank you again, Noah. I see you. Number four, Gracie Hopkins, One Man, Two Souls. Yeah. You can play it a bit now if you want. Yeah, go ahead, too. Okay. Uh, leave us in France. I'm great knowing where people are from, if you know me. Uh, probably one of the, my favorite build ups. No, it's my favorite build up of the year. He starts off the track a cappella, leads into the track, he goes fucking hard. And there's a beat switch, he starts singing, he can sing, he can rap, the switch ups, it's everything I want to track. And he does it flawlessly. And it is, I've just played this song on and off every week of this year. It's incredible. Number four for me is actually not an officially released track, and I wish it was. This is Earth Gang's best track they've ever made. Meditate? Up. Oh, the one that they did on the colors? It's not even released yet. How good does fucking Danny go in? Danny, Holy shit. Bro, it's like fucking under 3000. It's just like watching him like, okay. Okay, I'm retiring. I have listened to this track so many times oh. and it fucking hits me with so much oh excitement, passion and energy. I'm like, whoa. The notes that he hits. Bro, if they made an album of this, they are, they plan to. You know that, that that track's on the album coming out. I hope so. I hope the whole album's like that. Right. Because we're talking one of the best albums of fucking a long time. Just know that the Colors version is normally better than the album version. Well, whatever, man. Bro. I think it's phenomenal. I'm glad it's there. I'm glad you put that on there. Because I. that's amazing, man. Fuck. Number three. Student One, Yin Yang. My most played Spotify track of the year. Besides the... White noise I listen to. Fuck, fuck that shit. Anyway. <laughs> get rid of Spotify. Can you get rid of all white noise shit? Fucks up the list. Uh, yeah. Also, Tierra Wack has a verse here as well. She is super dope. We still need to review her album. Yeah, we do. It's it's a ten minute album. Okay. Either way, uh, the the back and forth, the light beat. Like I said, Student One is an upcoming artist. He's incredible. Same with Tierra Wack. Together, gold. Check it out. It's fucking fire. Now, <coughs> number three. J.I.D. Westbrook. There we go. Come on, son. As is, as is not one of the best bangers of the year. Who came up? And when he comes in with that life flow, the... We hit the back, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Bruh. Is this your new gym song? This is, is one of them. Bruh. It's diverse. The hook is ASAP Ferg, and I think J.I.D. works so well again. Yeah. Damn. Uh, it's funny, because my number two is uh, a banger as well. Frank Casino's The Whole Thing. Yeah, that's the first track, right? We got the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's dope. Whole thing. Yeah. We got, we got. This man. It's like an anthem, right? Yes. This man uses autotune unlike anyone I've heard. He uses it in a way where he kind of takes it like off kind of off kilter a lot. Like a lot, but it really fucking works. I love the way he uses that style. And this track, I've just, it's my banger. It's my banger, man. I go to it and I just get hyped. That was number stuff. two? Number two, bro. Shit, we number two, man. Number, number two. two for me. You actually said this one already. <laughs> actually, no, you didn't. Same ass. Kanye West and Kid Cudi. Reborn. Reborn. Mm. Every time I listen to this bro. by myself, I'm so, I'm so bye. I'm hit with like a wave of emotion. This, this very similar way the first time we listened to it. It, uh, yeah, it's kind of, I can't really explain it. Mm. It's just really... A yeah. uh, feel like it just makes me, uh, just, uh, I feel like a lot of people have a similar. Yeah. I know that um, uh, Chris, he had his number two as well. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go, Chris. Shout out, Chris. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't higher up for me. I just don't think I revisited it as much. But every time I heard it, I was very similar. It just take me to that nostalgic sort of sense, but also just put me in a mood of just like. I can do it. Yeah, but it's that nostalgia. It's like, mm. Kanye, I think it's one of Kanye's best verses. Oh, true. In a very, very long time. Yeah. And it really took me back and I'm like, speechless. Bruh. All right. Number one? Number one. Holy shit. Uh, Ridgy Snow, Egyptian Lover. Wow. I didn't expect that. I played the shit out of this. 
uh, featuring Donna Williams and Amine. This is a really good track. It's just how it is, man. We it's, can't really describe some of this. It's super chill. It just oozes confidence, but like in a lower level energy. It's so vibrant. It's just everything about it, especially when Amino's verse comes on, like, ring, ring, I'm trying to get my whole team back. I just go back to it again, again, again. And it was just one of those tracks that, like, no matter what sort of mood you're in, like, be it like you're with some friends, chilling out a family, bah, like, any shit. I just, it was my second most played track of the year. It was dope. It was great. And you're probably like, Whoa, how is Mac Millen on that list? I'm sorry. Wow, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Number one track of the year for me. This was hard because between between this, he could have had two tracks. Same with Kanye. Yeah. Was um the games we play. Drug dealer business with gold diggers. In them. This, this is in my list. In the of condos on everything I love. Ah! What the fuck you expect? Bro, the beat is really why this is the beat with the vocal performance, oh, the man, combination. I'm sorry, my head banging. I accidentally farted from excitement. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But what was so tough for me, it, it was between the games that play and comeback baby. I could have easily interchanged these. But I feel like this is just straight fire. Mm -hmm. And even with number two, Reborn and Fourth Dimension were interchanged. I just want to mention oh, that. So very similar to ours. Because I, I think I had Daytona and um, Fourth Dimension around 17, 16. So. Woo! That's our top tracks of the year. I really hope you enjoyed them. Put yours below, man. Check them out. Put yours below. Be it 20, 10, 2, 3, 1. Yeah. The Jungle Beats. And it's this week. Enjoy yeah, everything we're putting out.